Hey, what's up, y'all? Uh, man, we just had a wicked, we just had a wicked storm come through. I mean, it was like a F3 tornado that was on the ground for 55 miles. That's crazy. I just hope, I hope everybody's okay. It was a terrible, terrible storm. It barely missed us. It was probably three miles north of us. I mean, it was, it's bad. I hope, I hope everybody's okay. That's just terrible. 55 miles, you know people had to lose their homes and man, we just, we were very, very lucky, you know, on a brighter note today, uh, speaking of rebuilding, we're going to bring life back into, uh, this is my first laptop and believe it or not, what's crazy, I guess it's not crazy, but this is my first laptop and my current laptop is my second computer I've ever owned. This is the first laptop I ever bought and it's like, I don't know, three years old. So I'm, I'm new to computers, but uh, it's got a regular hard drive in it. I did upgrade the RAM. It had eight gigs. I put 16 in it when I first got it, but it's got a, it's got a standard SATA hard drive in it. And we are going to transform it with this. This is the Samsung 870 Evo. They were on sale at Best Buy. I snatched it up for a really good price. It was, I mean, like $70 or something for one terabyte. It was incredibly, incredibly affordable. And then I got this, which is the SATA, uh, it's an enclosure, but I'm going to use it to clone the drive and we'll just move everything over from the, from the hard drive, uh, to the SSD. And then we'll fire this bad boy up and go from there. But before we do all that, we want to surprise the wifey, um, the missus. She deserves surprises. She never asked for anything. And she's incredibly difficult to shop for and get things for. And, you know, I love her to death and she never asked for anything. So before we do this, we're going to surprise her to put up there. See if I can shine some light on it. It's basically a compass with the B in the middle. Um, it looks really good. I like it a lot. And I think it's going to look really nice outside on the brick. So, so yeah, let's go knock this out and then we'll come back and, uh, We'll revive the old Sony bio. Okay, see you in a minute. Okay, so Happy wife, happy life. Now we got that out of the way. Um, okay, first thing you're gonna need to do is download the Samsung Magician software. This will make transferring all the data from the old hard drive to the new SSD just so easy. Uh, there's a tab for, it says here, data mag migration. It will literally, you just pick the drive you wanna send it to and it'll clone it right over. The good thing about cloning it through this software, and it might be all softwares, I'm not sure, but I know for a fact on this one, is that you do not have to initialize or partition the drive. It just recognizes it immediately. Windows, everything. Everything on that drive will transfer right over and then you just plug and play, swap it over, done. So it's, it's actually really, really easy. The tools you're gonna need, of course, is the two and a half inch SATA SSD. Um, doesn't have to be Samsung, but I recommend Samsung. I've never had a drive fail, never had a problem, and I enjoy the software. It makes it super easy. And you're gonna need a small Phillips head screwdriver or maybe a torch, depending on what PC you have. Uh, I bought this little kit from B&H, it was like six bucks, but any small Phillips head would do. And then you're gonna need either a SATA to USB cable, or uh, I picked up this SATA enclosure uh, I couldn't find the cable in Best Buy and I didn't want to wait for one to come through Amazon. So this was in the uh, little bargain bin rack and I picked it up and I guess it'd be good to have around. So uh, you'll just take your drive, you'll pop it in or plug it in, whichever. Plug it into your laptop, migrate everything over and then uh, swap it out. And this, I guess really my, my goal with this is for you know, the family to have a computer to use. They're all worried about getting on mine and messing it up or something. So I'm gonna have this one that's just like kind of like the fam jam computer. You know, kids do homework or uh, Lauren has to do schedule on Tuesdays and whatnot. 
So, you know, this would be theirs. They can use it however, but I want it to be optimal. I want the performance to be good. And so, uh, before I close this software out, I mean, it's really good. You go to www.samsung.com forward slash uh, Samsung SSD, and then you just download Magician software from there. And then you can do firmware updates on your SSD. You can do performance benchmarks. You can migrate data. Uh, what else? Oh, you can do performance optimization where you can control what temperature you want it to, uh, you know, start throttling at. And it's just really, really convenient software to have. Once you flip your computer over, and as a matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, pop this battery out just to be safe. Unlock it. Do y'all remember when laptops would do that? That is whew, nostalgia. Okay, so when you flip it over on the bottom, you'll have usually, usually uh, two access panels. One's gonna be your RAM and the other's gonna be your hard drive. And like I said before, I've already swapped the RAM to 16 gigs. And if you wanna know how to do that, uh, put the video up right to this corner, this corner, whatever corner, uh, and you can check that out. So uh, what we're gonna do is take this cover off cover comes off and there she is a dinosaur all right so what we're looking at is basically the hard the, the the mounting plate it's got four screws in it don't take those screws out yet there's you see a plastic tab mounted right here we're gonna yank that that way because the plugs are here and um, wherever the tab is just pull away so bam there we go, pops right out. And there she is, or he, or non-binary. 750 gig Western Digital hard drive. As you can see, this plate has four screws on it. If you look at the bottom of your, hard, of your new SSD, it also has four screws on it. So what we're gonna do is unscrew these. how we want to. All right, slide that thing off. And then remember our plastic tab, that goes where the, where the port is. So we're gonna put the port side with the plastic tab, just like this. And then we're gonna line up our screw holes on the screwdriver first. All right, there she goes. And we just grab that, yank it over, make sure it's tight, put this screw in. Come back on. Proper battery back in. Let's see how snappy she is. Pretty quick. Look at the rhino. Colors are awful. Admin password. That's a uh, hundred percent better. I mean, one hundo. Like I said, no initializing, no partitions, none of that. It just fired right up. Recognized it immediately. Let's open up the magician software. Yes. Boom! Well, look how fast that fired up. That is crazy. All right, so here we can see that it is a, let me zoom in a little bit for y'all. So here we can see we got the Samsung SSD 870 Evo, one terabyte, temperature is 94 degrees Fahrenheit. I mean, so we can go into, let's say, performance optimization, and we can go into full performance mode. Yeah, I probably don't wanna do that, it's gonna run hot. 
we'll just leave it in standard. So you can optimize the system performance by using DRAM as a cache for storage. It's already cooled down to from 94 to 88 degrees. So there you have it. I mean, it was that easy. It was just as easy as just buying it. That was the most difficult thing was buying it. And it was uh, it was on sale. I think I paid like $75 for the one terabyte. I mean, if you want to just get a 500, I think the 500 gig is running $49.99, something like that. But it's a great way to bring new life into your old device. You know, I, I'm a firm believer in, you know, reducing the e-waste and and getting as much life out of something as you can you know i say that but i got a whole shelf full of smartphones that you know i get a new one every two years all right so there you have it you know we uh we breathed new life into this old sony bio and we did it in about i don't know if you count the cloning and everything we did it in about two hours uh all it took was just literally going and buying it and swapping it out it's a great way to extend the life of of your device you know to bring it up to modern standards and and get somewhat modern speeds you know a lot of people don't have the money to go out and buy a brand new laptop they just have to you know upgrade their old one and it's nice that these older ones are user uh upgradable you know a lot of these new P pcs new laptops you just can't get into them to do it they're all soldered on board and so it's nice to see that these uh you know they're making new components for these older older units and you know, it keeps these things out of the landfills and just they live to fight another day. So uh, I hope somebody found this helpful. You know, I, I'm i not the biggest computer whiz, but I do enjoy tinkering with them and I do enjoy, you know, keeping things out of the trash can, you know, get as much life out of it as you can. So if you found this at all helpful, a like would be cool. And if you're into photo and tech related content, Go ahead and subscribe for future content. I really appreciate it. You know, we're growing every day. And uh, much love to each and every one of y'all. Y'all take care of yourselves. You know you deserve it. And we'll see you on the next one. Peace.